In this video I'm going to demonstrate a voltmeter or kind of like a voltmeter simulator using xenodiodes. So in this circuit I have four xenodiodes. They all have different breakdown voltages. So they break down at different voltage points and I set it up so that it gets successively higher. And um, so that as we increase voltage you can see each LED lights up and you can see how this kind of will function as a voltmeter. So right now it's at zero volts. I want to turn it up. You see the first LED is on. So I keep increasing it. The second is on, then the third turns on, then the fourth turns on. And if I decrease it, you can see it shuts off successively. If I increase it again, see it turns on successfully. So this is how you can um, use Zener Diode Zener diodes to function as a voltmeter. Um, use different breakdown voltages uh, for the Zener diodes as you need whatever value um, you want to record. So in this case, this is 3 volts, so if it's above a certain point, then that's when the LED will turn on. You also have to take into account that the LED um, uses about 2 to 3 volts. So if this is a 3 volt Zener diode, uh, has a breakdown voltage of 3 volts, then the LED will only turn on when it reaches about 5 volts because the LED itself needs forward voltage. But you get the point how you can um, put any breakdown voltage to get LEDs to turn on and this can simulate um, a voltmeter, a voltage level indicator. So this is, you know, this is just a basic circuit showing how xenodiodes can be used for this purpose.